Animations always grab attention and we all want to sort of uplift our websites with great animations and this one right here is a very simple one to implement on Framer without writing a single line of code. Let's see how it's done. So here's an artboard and a few album covers which I'm going to add the scroll animation in. Let's just zoom into the artboard here. I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the fill to something really dark and let's just make a layout and um, set the distribution to start and let's make the gap zero so that's done i'm going to make another frame inside of it i'm going to remove the film uh, fill again and uh, make it really big in height because we want the entire section to have the scroll um, i'm going to make sure that the width is set to fill and i'm going to rename it to section one so that's done let's just make another frame inside of section one right here just uh, place it in the center here again I'm going to ensure it's sticky but that option is not available because section 1 needs to be a stack for that for which we'll add the layout uh, set the distribution to start again and we're going to uh, ensure that the gap is also set to 0 so once that is done we're going to select the frame again and I'm going to make it sticky this time the height will be viewport 100 and the width will be fill. That will take up the entire area. Now we'll select the frame and let's just rename it to um, images and uh, remove the fill within the images frame. So that is done. I'm going to make another frame inside of images and I'm going to center align it. The width will be 1200 now and the height, let's just set it to 800. So once that is done, let us just um, remove the fill from this as well and rename it to uh, images um, wrap. Now, not this is either album, just, just name it album wrap and change the above thing also to albums. So that is done. And now let's just put in all our uh, albums inside of the album wrap frame so just like that i'll drag and drop it in yeah okay so now we are just going to align it in a way so that it sort of overlaps here but because we have to do a skew effect it doesn't really matter if it's overlapping so just ensure it's the center place it right just like this once that is done, let's just select a cover here and uh, go to effects. We'll go on loop here and uh, set the delay for the, just to see how it works, let's just first set it to 3 and uh, change it to 3D and the Y axis to 60 and um, make the Z 0. I'm going to go to time and set it to um, 0 as well because we don't need any delay in that happening so let's just set it to 10 just in case and uh, now when we play it we'll see that this is skewed but if you keep if you stay still and if you see after 10 seconds this is going to come back to normal so how do we have how do we uh, fix that we'll have to go here and set the delay to a very big number so it sort of stays in that place so that's how it is done um, we'll add the similar thing to other covers as well. Loop and then we'll go to uh, delay, a very very big number there and uh, change it into 3D, change, this time we'll uh, change the X axis to minus 60 and then we are going to go to the transition and set the time here to 0. Let's cross it out. One thing we have to ensure is that we set the perspective here to 600 which in case if it's 1200 we'll just make sure it is 600 for all. So once that is done we'll ensure we do it for the rest of it as well. So I'll just quickly do it here and uh, yeah. So once that is done we can see how 
all of these images are skewed but we'll have to adjust the alignment here and make sure it sort of sits perfectly so next thing that we'll do here is select add the scroll transformation so what we'll do is we will select albums and go to effects and select uh, scroll transformation from here the trigger will be on scroll so from we'll select the from effect here so if we want opacity to be 0 0.5 and the scale can be 0 0.5 as well but we want it to go rotate from 90 to um, opacity is 1 scale we want it to be really big when it rotates and here we can make it 0 because we want it to go from 90 degrees to 0 degrees while it rotates so let's just see how it looks well it, it is working but it isn't working right and you know why that's happening well that's because we haven't uh, selected the parent layers and made the visibility uh, change the visibility settings so what we'll do is we'll select a uh, section and change the overflow settings to visible similarly here all the parent uh, frames should have the overflow settings set to visible now this is done but it's getting stuck here at the bottom that's because the height of the section is supposed to be a little bit longer for this to work perfectly so it gets like a proper space to rotate so i'm going to make the desktop longer and now when you do it you will see how smoothly this is transitioning which is exactly what we want so now what we're going to do next is we're going to add a text right here i'm going to write billboard top 100 change the text properties to maybe pop in and then select the way to be something really bold so let's go with extra bold here and the size can be 100 I'm going to select billboard and change the opacity and add some probably a linear gradient which adds a little bit of a cool effect so yeah, let's just select that and just try and see what works for us so once that is done we will play and see how it looks well this is looking cool for sure how it's scrolling up well, if you want it to be like this, you can let it be, but I want it to sort of stick here in the center. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make this thing sticky and I'm going to add some padding from top. Uh, let's just add 400 and see how this works. So yeah, it sort of looks cool now, right? It sort of sticks right in the center. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick with this. And I am also thinking what if we have to add another section right under this so we'll have to increase the height of the desktop let's just do that we will select the section and press command d which will duplicate the section right under the section one we have section two and i'm going to make sure it is um different so i'm going to change it to sec next section and uh, change the color to probably something mm, a cool purple so that sort of works. I'm going to reduce the size of the text here. And um, yeah, so now when you see, it sort of goes in and the next section starts right under the, when the first section gets over. So that is cool, but then it's sort of sticking with the first section. So I'll add some padding from the top here, maybe 200 to see how it looks. So now when it's done, it's still, okay but it still sort of overlaps with the image on top so i can uh, just add a little more padding here maybe 400 and yeah i think this one sort of works well for me well that was it for this tutorial i hope you found it helpful um do let me know if you try it and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time